Now, you never know what you're going to see at Boulder Ridge Wild Animal Park, mainly because they keep adding more and more exhibits with these exotic animals from across the globe. I took a trip there recently to see what's new. Take a look. Boulder Ridge Wild Animal Park. You don't have to wear a tuxedo to get in, but it doesn't hurt. We're in the Penguin Cove, which is one of the new attractions. We're here with, and, and they're here too. Uh, Josh, they want to get on the interview. They do. Park manager Josh, how new are, is this Penguin Cove exhibit? New as of May 1. There it is. So this is brand new. What, how did we get these penguins? Uh, it was a help from another zoo. We got them. We built this. And now, obviously, as you saw, we're building an outdoor exhibit for them easier to see and more space. Okay. Okay, and how many penguins did we, we bring have 18. in? 18. 18 penguins are here. And of course, every time I come out to Boulder Ridge, there's something new. There because is. Because just last year, what did you bring in? These rhinoceros? The rhinos, yes, our two female rhinos last fall. Unbelievable. And rhinoceroses, by the way, uh, if you haven't seen one in person, they're enormous. They're gigantic. I mean, they're incredible animals. Oh, yeah. All right, so we got the rhinoceros, we got the penguins, and of course, two new giraffes are coming. Yes, we just got, we just got the two females. They were here for baby animal week. I'm glad you mentioned the baby animals because you just had a baby animal weekend and another one coming up this summer. Yes. What does that look like? Do people get to like hold baby animals? They or? get to touch. They get, we wow them to feed lettuce and carrots to them like they do our animals. They get close to them. We even had some baby alligators this time. and Not too close to those. Not to the nose. <laughs> there was a little distance there. <laughs> so yeah, what are the types of babies do people come to see? I mean, obviously they might be thinking of baby goats or baby chicks, but well, baby there alligators? Was, there was some of those. There was some lemurs, kangaroos. Oh, a little Joey Bison. Excellent. So always a good time for the family. And let's talk a little bit about the family experience. Because when people come out here, obviously they're going to see wild animals. Absolutely. You've got a playground out here. You've got some food. Talk about what it's like to bring the whole herd. Oh, yeah. You know, we got lots of different stuff now because with all our additions, we've added like, two playgrounds, the concession stand, the walking path, so you can grab your food to go. You can take your time, see, you know, everything's a little easier to see now. What if everybody gets hungry? They gotta have some food too. You mentioned concessions. Yeah, we got our concessions. Lots of good selection. French fries, cheese curds, chicken strips, mm -hmm. soft drinks. What about concessions for the animals? Well, we have our feed stations for the carrots and lettuce for them. The giraffes obviously are a big hit. Uh -huh. I love it because, uh, pro tip, you put the carrot stick in your mouth. For the camels. Right. <laughs> they come up and they give you the wettest, whiskeriest kiss. As they do. My kids love it when that happens. So let's give it a, a, the scale, the, the size and scope of this place. How many acres, how many different types of animals? Oh, we're 80 acres. We're well over 1,500 animals. 80 acres, 1,500 animals, plenty of things to do for the family, okay. playgrounds, concessions. Now let's talk about events. Uh, oh yeah, this summer is going to be pretty busy. We have, a, we do have a busy summer coming up. We got uh, our um, eat, drink, and conserve nights. We have two of those. We have two prince and princess nights, or days, I should say. Another baby animal week. Let's talk about the eat, drink, and conserve. I'm assuming that is a focus on conservation. It is. It is. Last year, that was the uh, rhinos. That was our first one. It was after an evening, and boom, that's when we introduced the rhinos. Kind of like a fundraiser? It was, yes. Okay. And then the other prince and princesses? Yeah. Talk about what that looks like. Oh, that's a busy day, because obviously everybody can come dressed up. We have uh, a bunch of prince, Disney prince and princesses who come, superheroes as well. Mm -hmm. So you kids get to maybe get an autograph or, or a picture. Photo, uh, yep. right. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, and they're spread out through the zoo as well. As always, plenty to do at Boulder Ridge Wild Animal Park. Josh, thank you so much for the info. Oh, thank you. And thank you for taking us the back way into the Penguin Cove because we got to see a little top secret action back there. You got more coming. We do. We Can we tell everybody what it is? is it no, the... not yet. We, no. <clears throat> but we do have more coming. We always have more to come here. Trust me, what's coming next, you're going to want to stay tuned for because there's always something new and exciting happening at Boulder Ridge. Just one of the best places to take the family if you've never been, or if you have, go again. Boulder Ridge Wild Animal Park right there at 8313 Pratt Lake Avenue Southeast in Alto. You want to learn more? Call them up, 616-868-6711, or check them out online, boulderridgewap.com.